the law offices of L. W. Cooper. This is Nick Tierney and Lindsey Cooper. At what point do I need to form a legal entity for the operation of my small business? Nick or Lindsey, you want to take that one? Um, well, I'll start because I'll make Nick do most of the talking. Um, <clears throat> you know, when when you start a business, I mean, you automatically need to form a legal entity. Um, it's super easy. You actually don't need a lawyer to do it. Um, you go to the Secretary of State's website. It costs $135, um, and you file the application. Um, they turn it around pretty quickly, uh, but you know, just right off the bat, uh, you need to form a legal entity. You need to open a bank account, and you need to fund the bank account. We see people all the time because my background is I used to be a Justice Department lawyer. And my sole um, client was the IRS. Yeah. If you're going to get examined, it becomes very difficult to figure out what's personal and what's business. So right off the bat, I think you form the legal entity. You go onto the IRS website. You can get his EIN online in literally one minute. You need to get the EIN, get your uh, formation documents. You need to go down to the bank and open an account. Uh, because what it allows you to do is it allows you to segregate um, Joe Bob from, you know, his new business or legal entity. And there's asset protection benefits as well. Um, that if the legal entity gets into trouble, construction company, for example, they get sued all the time uh, for faulty construction. You want to have that being a separate legal entity so it has its own uh, debts and liabilities that are separate and distinct from the owners that's in line.